Hey friends, uh, really quick video today. Um, I did a new intro for my YouTube channel recently and since I started using it, I've had quite a few comments. So today I'm doing a really quick tutorial just to show you how I did the sort of duo tone effect in this intro. So yeah, it's a nice little effect. I think, um, when would I use this effect? Great for little intros, great for cutaways with sort of text over the top, great for a bit of interest, but I would say it's something to maybe, you know, use sparingly is when it comes in best. Now there's a few different ways you can do this, but I'm just going to show you the really quick and dirty way, the way that I used in my intro that I found to be quite flexible and easy to work with. So let's dive into my screen, and here we are straight away in Final Cut Pro, and here's the sort of intro sequence that I've been working on, and what I've done is is I've actually deleted um, the important bit that make this work. So if we just sort of show, all I've done is put my clips together, I've used some transitions and fancy bits and pieces like that. Um, and this is how it looks at the moment. So I've used quite a lot of transitions, all my sort of favorite clips for my intro, and it's got some text on it. So I'm not gonna cover any of that today. Uh, if you're interested in that, then give me a shout. I am just covering the duotone effect that you just saw in my intro. So the way in which I achieved this is really quite simple, and it utilizes blend modes. So what I'm gonna go and do, let's just stop that, is we're gonna go across into uh, sort of text and uh, generator screen. We're going to grab a solid and I'm going to drag this custom solid over my clips and I want that to be the full length here. Uh, because this was an intro, this little blue bit here, you can completely ignore that. That was just a sort of lead in uh, so my music intro could start, uh, but the footage actually starts here. So we've dragged this custom over the top and all it's done is make everything black. So what we're then gonna do is select that, jump over to here, and we're gonna select a color that works for us. Now, obviously I'm doing this quite quickly, so, um, I'm not going to use the exact colour that I was going for, but you know, let's go for something. Let's go for purple today. I'm rebranded. Uh, so there's our purple, and um, obviously you can use the hex code. So you can paste any hex code in here, or if you prefer, you could select from the colour wheel like so. Uh, and uh, so yeah, lots of different ways you can do that, but select the color that you want. If you have got like a brand color, that you, a real specific color that you've got in mind, you may find you have to tweak it, but I'll get into that in a bit. So now we've done that, then we can come back up here into our inspector, click on the movie tab, and we're gonna change the blend mode, and this is where the magic happens. And we're gonna go for blend mode multiply, and immediately you can see what that's done is kind of blended with the layers underneath um, to kind of give us our kind of weird purple color. But as you can see, because the footage underneath is all colored, still kind of looks a bit rubbish right now to be honest. So the next thing that I did um, was I've used an adjustment layer and I downloaded this adjustment layer from Ryan Nangle. He's got loads of great assets so I suggest you check his YouTube channel out as well. Uh, but this is just really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this in and I'm going to put this over the top of my footage but under our coloured custom solid and I'm going to drag that out and to this there's a couple of ways we can go about this okay so I can apply color correction to this and all I'm really going to do let's just get rid of that colored layer for a second so you can see what I'm doing on this adjustment layer all I need to do really is remove all of the saturation and now you can see that's black and white and now if I turn my colored layer back on, we now end up with exactly the effect that I'm going for, this kind of duotone thing. Now, there is one other way that you can do this, uh, and it's the way that I actually opted for. Uh, if I just put this saturation back to where it was, um, since Final Cut 10.4, 
was released. It's actually got a custom LUT loader built into it, which is fantastic and well overdue, in my opinion. Um, so if we add a custom LUT to our adjustment layer, I'm just gonna double click that should have put it up here then I'm actually using some of Peter McKinnon's LUTs which I suggest to check out because they're pretty cool and he's done a really nice moody black and white so if we apply that then you can just see to me it's just a bit more contrasty and it's a bit nice so you can just desaturate the video um, you don't even need an adjustment layer actually you could go through each clip that you're putting the effect over or if you're even if you're only putting it over one clip desaturate the video clip and then that'll work fine and you could even then use the um, the color wheels to adjust sort of saturation uh, you know bring the shadows down the highlights up um, and give it a bit more contrast to give you the look that you want but for me uh, I used Peter McKinnon's noir LUT it's just a nice contrasty black and white and then I've put my colored solid over the top set the blend mode to multiply and the excuse me and then really it's just about fine tuning um, so for this I might say well actually that feels a little bit dark so uh, if I come into my custom solid I could just adjust the opacity down a little bit like so play around with that and fine-tune that or the other thing is as I mentioned if you're using a, an, a brand color or a, a very specific color um, sometimes they just won't work so you might find that you have to just say well I'm just going to use a variation of that color so you could you know brighten the color up so that once it's multiplied it still it gives the effect that you want but looks nice but sometimes you might say oh well this is a color I need to use you put it in and actually once you've multiplied it over a clip it feels darker than it should or lighter than it should so there's a bit of fine tuning needed um, but yeah that is pretty much how I did that I wanted this to be quick hopefully that was quick I'm not too sure sorry about the shoddy lav mic attachment in this video but you know it's all about the good audio um, and that's everything I hope you found that useful if you did give the video a like if you like this sort of thing video photography tutorials my general journey as I learn filmmaking then please subscribe to the channel and other than that I will see you next time